Hey everybody. Well, tomorrow is dispatch day. First batch of chick chickens right there. So 24, 25, 20, probably 22 after or some loss. I had to get the uh, dispatching system set up. Gonna get the table and the plucker and the, all the water boiler, getting them all ready to go for tomorrow. Okay, so processing day. Where's where we dispatch them. We dunk them for about 15 seconds in 200 degree water, a little under. Throw them through the plucker. Bring them over here, clean them. Drop them in here and for, chill them out. And we're doing something different, is that this year we are going to bag them, seal them, then put them in just the refrigerator for 48, yeah, about 36 hours probably. And then let that rigor mortis come and go and your meat's so much better. So that's all I'm showing today because I don't show the processing. There's lots of YouTube homesteaders that don't mind showing the whole process. But to me, this is kind of a, this is the saddest day on the homestead for me because I mean, these chickens are meant for this and that's what you do and you do it. And they're getting actually not too healthy because that's what these chickens do at 10, 12 weeks. They start to show signs of genetic weaknesses. They're growing outside, they're outgrowing their body. So, but this ain't a day I long, I like. Um, we're doing 25 today and probably two weeks, 20, the other 25. So here we go. Okay. So we did our meat processing today. 23 chickens from the first batch. And I'm gonna show you what they look. There's our 23 meat chickens from this morning. Now we're gonna be shrink wrapping them and put them in our refrigerator for about 36 hours to let the rigor mortis come and go and then we'll freeze them and we'll have meat for well, one a week, 26 weeks ish. Okay, as you can see, here's our bag chicken. Now what we do, as you can see, there's a zip tie around the legs that crisscross. Not many people do that as a little extra step, but it makes your bagging a lot better. It gets a lot tighter seal, at least we think it does. This one happened to weigh four pounds, five ounces. So now this one has a problem because some of these meat chickens legs are a little shorter. So I'm gonna have mom hold this. I'm gonna show you my little trick in how to get them to go together. So zip ties, you can put, put these on your chicken, roast with your chicken, bar, you know, do everything in the oven and it's not a problem. So zip ties, great things. So here we did, I made a little handcuffy thing, like that. And now I'm gonna put one around one leg and cinch it down, pull it over, and I'm just gonna kind of squeeze them together, and boom, handcuffed. And then you can put them right, cut off the ends, and you can seal them up in your bags a whole lot easier, just like that. So handcuff, zip zip, and you don't have to try and squeeze the legs together because it's really hard. Dun, 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 dun. This sour cream turned downright cranky. <laughs> Here's the sour cream cranky maker. Uh -huh. Zoom! <laughs> we got the zoomies. <laughs> what? You want something? You think it's supper time? All right. Yeah, I know, Ricky. It's supper time. I know. I know. I know. Mr. 
turkeys are out with the other chickens now. Peaky babies. They're so cute. Stop, Ricky! And that's the farm this morning. Everybody is out wandering, getting some food, right? Ricky! <laughs> Creamy ranch habanero potato chips. Oops. Ooh! Ho, ho, ho. You open the bag, you. <laughs> Whoa! Now, mom should tell me not to do this, but it wouldn't stop me. Just take half of a chip. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> it's hot. But boy, it tastes really good. Mmm. That smoke so hot. Very good. Take one for the team. There's the face. <laughs> That's a little spicy, just so you know. So my wife let me go to the store today by myself. It's always a mistake to leave me unsupervised. I found Dr. Pepper flavored cotton candy. I like Dr. Pepper. I love cotton candy. I don't know about this, but when mom's not around, here we go. Kind of reddish, like Dr. Pepper. I'll eat it. Tastes like RC Cola. Let me try again. I think there's a little Dr. Pepper flavor the second time. Try again. Just gotta keep trying, you know. I don't know if I say it tastes like Dr. Pepper, but it's good cotton candy. Don't leave dads unsupervised.